Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to just sit down with you guys so you guys can get to know me a little bit more. I have a couple of questions here on my phone that I just made up myself. I'm wearing my Beetlejuice shirt um, in case anyone wanted to know what type of shirt I'm wearing. I love this shirt. This is like one of my favorite shirts ever. So yeah, so let's just move on. Uh, anyway, so first question is how old are you? So I am 31. Um, next question, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April 29th. I am a Taurus, um, just in case if anybody wants to know. I don't know what that really means when I say, oh, I'm a Taurus, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, where are you from? I am from New York, Queens. Where are your parents from? My parents are from Peru. How tall are you? I believe I'm 5'3". I'm going to say 5'3". Um, probably wrong, but I think I'm 5'3". Next question is, what kind of music are you into? The type of music that I listen to whenever I just feel like dancing and just feeling good is 80s music. 80s music is one of my favorite, favorite type of music. I will literally just get up and start dancing that is my jam. Like, I love, love 80s music. So, yeah. Are you single or taken? I am taken. I am in a five year relationship going on six years in October. We actually met on a dating website called OKCupid. Um, and yeah, we've been together for five years. He has been the best supporter ever with like my career and you know what I do he's just been the best he has been I always say that he has been my best supporter and he has been the best dessert taster for the past five years I always say that because even though he's on a diet right now he doesn't necessarily disappoint me when it comes to desserts like he will try it at least try it but then feel like crap afterwards but he still makes me happy just knowing that he took a little bite of my dessert that I made makes me happy so next question who is your celebrity crush my celebrity crush you guys number one and always will be number one Charlie Hunnam that's it nothing I can't I don't know <laughs> I'm not gonna even say anything more about that man because he is just Perfect. I haven't found a flaw about him. He is just so. Oh, he's just perfection. He's just yeah. Let's move on. Um, do you like cats or dogs? I love dogs. I am a dog person, but I do love cats. I do have two furry animals. I have two cats. Um, one of them is actually down there, just chilling and staring at me but um his name is Mikey and he is probably actually no he is the most sweetest affectionate best cat I have ever had he's just so sweet he always wants attention he's always around you he just he's really good with strangers he just comes and just like you know <laughs> I don't know what that is he like loves on you <laughs> He just kind of loves on you and he's just a sweet cat he's he's the best i also have another cat um her name is isabel but she is terrified of everything she doesn't like being touched she doesn't like being held or anything she's scared of everything i don't know what happened to her when she was a kitten but she was definitely something definitely happened to her but i try to pet her at times because i want to show her love and she's just always so tense and she's like oh my god like what are you doing don't touch me like i don't want to be touched right now but i still love on her because she has she is gorgeous like if i am able to guys i'll try to put the picture up but if not um i'm just going to put like my instagram so you guys can look at my cats but anyway yeah, I have two cats, um, I'm a dog lover, but also a cat lover, um, and I used to have a dog named Rafi, he recently just passed away because he was just really, really old, um, so yeah, he passed away actually on his birthday, his birthday is on, was on February 7th, and um, yeah, 
but he was the best dog ever. So next question. What's your favorite movie genre? Obvious. Horror. I feel like I've watched all the scary movies. I'm probably wrong, but I feel like I have. I love every scary movie that I've watched. Actually, there's some scary movies that are kind of corny, but I still enjoy them. My favorite movie of all time, and I will watch them over and over and over again, is The Conjuring. The Conjuring is probably one of my favorite, favorite movies ever. What's your favorite show? My favorite show of all time. Everybody that knows me knows what I'm gonna say right now. I love Friends. Friends is absolutely my number one show. Um, what's your favorite snack? I feel like I always go towards Sour Patch. Every time I'm either in a gas station or a supermarket or wherever, I'm like, where's the Sour Patch? I just want, well, I like Sour Patch, but I also like just sour candy in general. I, I have such an obsession with sour candy. It's really bad. Another snack that I can probably think of is just chips in general. I love Takis. Takis are awesome. Um, I love white cheddar popcorn. I actually bought white cheddar popcorn family size and I ate the whole thing in like two days. And I have no shame at all because it was delicious and I would do it again. It's so good. Where am I? Where am I? I just lost my spot again. What's your favorite topping on ice cream? I love cookie dough. Cookie dough is one of my favorite, favorite things on ice cream or Oreos. Oreos is definitely up there. Um, but for me, like when I have ice cream, I don't like it just to be ice cream. I need some texture in it. I need some cookies. I need some cookie dough or I need some like some sort of crumble in there. I need crunch. I need texture in my ice cream. So cookie dough and Oreos are top, probably up there. Um, I can't really think of anything else right now, but I need texture in my ice cream, so. So, Talanti's Gelato, I'm probably saying that so wrong right now. Talanti's Gelato has like layers. So, and they have like, they have the best flavors ever. They had, oh my God, let me look it up actually, because these flavors are amazing. So they have, okay, I'm gonna just share like my favorite ice cream because it's probably, you guys need to try it. You need to try this ice cream, it's so good. So they have banana caramel crunch. I'm gonna show you a picture because it's just, it's just, oh my God, it's so good. So I'm gonna, hopefully this is focused. Focus, focus, focus. There you go. It's so good. Oh my God, you guys, you have to try it. I'm so like in love with this ice cream. Okay, I'm talking about this way too much, but it's my favorite. Next question, okay. What's your favorite food, savory or sweet? Okay, this is a very complicated question because I can't answer it. I just can't because I love food, period. I There's no specific food that I love. Well, actually, I could say that whenever I am, well, not craving, but whenever I want um, something, I automatically think of sushi. Sushi is my favorite, favorite thing to eat. One of my fa one of my favorite things to eat, um, ramen. Ramen will always make me happy. Always make me a happy girl. Um, seafood. I love seafood. I love pizza. I love burgers. I love hot dogs. I love food like I love pasta. I love. I just love food. How did you get into cooking? I started cooking at the age of seven. So I didn't know this. I completely forgot at what age I started. I asked my mom and she said age seven. So I was like, okay. So at the age of seven, I started baking. And then, um, hold on, I don't wanna ruin the next question. Okay, I went to high school, graduated, and then I went to culinary school and also I went to pastry school. I'm so happy that I'm in this field because it just makes people happy and I love it. Okay, next question. What school did you go to for cooking? So I went to, like I said before, I went to culinary school and pastry school. So I went to the Art Institute of New York for culinary and the Institute Culinary of Education for pastry. So I went to the Art Institute of New York for two years. I did two years of culinary and then I did like six months of pastry. 
Um, next question. What's your favorite thing about your career? Definitely making people happy with what I make. What have you learned about YouTube so far? So, I have learned so much and I don't want to bore you with all the stuff that I've learned. But, one thing that I have learned about YouTube is that you definitely need to be consistent. You have to post consistently. My life has changed with YouTube. Even though I've been on YouTube for like maybe I think two months now, um, I just feel really happy because I feel like I have met a couple of people already that are YouTubers that are awesome and they are doing so many amazing things with their channel. I'm so like happy to be a part of their journey. What advice can you give to people that want to create a channel? Some advice that I have for new YouTubers, don't do sub for sub. Just don't do it. It does not work. It, it's not good. It's not good. You say, hey, sub for sub and that's all you say and you don't say, hey, what's your content about? Like, you know, what what have you been doing? Or, you don't know, just like something, asking them something, you know? Like, actually having a conversation with them. Don't just say, hey, sub for sub, and you guys just do it. Then you guys realize that you don't even like their content. And you're subscribing to somebody that you don't really like. Don't do that. Just don't do it. I think that's the last question, guys. So, I'm just going to end the video here. Hopefully, you guys liked my get to know me video give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys